Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, good morning, everybody. And uh, thanks for the people who are switched on the video. And I would request others, if possible, please switch on your videos because that will help me to understand and make sure that you are also practicing as what I'm talking about. First of all, wishing you all a very happy new year. I am Poonam Jain, an alchemist coach, and uh, I would like to thank each one of you for joining us this morning for our session on Learn to Meditate, Three Essential Keys to Meditation. So how many of you would really want to learn and enhance your practices for meditation? Just raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Okay, I see. Thanks, Bharti, Kasturi, Prasanna, Milin. Thanks a lot. Thank you for doing that. And it, it would really be nice to see all of you really going ahead. Thanks, Rupali, for raising your hand. So it's really nice to know that you all are interested to enhance and learn the basics of meditation. So one of the things that we're going to do is uh, we are going to learn simple techniques for meditation. So our session would be set up in such a way where you will understand what meditation is, what meditation is not, and what are the simple techniques for concentration. So you learn one powerful, simple technique for concentration. And we're going to use this forum. You can use the chat window for answering your questions. I have just put everybody on mute right now so that during the meditation experience, we all would have that experience and we are not getting disturbed. So once again, welcome to this session and we will learn the basics of meditation to apply into our life. Now, one of the key things which I want to highlight here is that many of us are interested in meditation because it has tremendous benefit. And some of you would have already experienced it already. So just go ahead and type in the chat window, what are the experiences that you have had during the meditation or what benefits have you observed and noticed for yourself with whatever kind of meditations that you have done until now? Go ahead, share it in the chat window. Let's make it a little bit more interactive. Okay, it made you feel cool. Thanks, Bharti. Okay, so right now, not able to concentrate, but before it was bliss, calm. Thanks, Bharti. Meenal, health in focus. Kasturi says calm and positive. Bharti says a blissful experience. Had a good concentration. Feels always happy. So this is really awesome. And thanks everyone for sharing your uh, benefits of uh, meditation. So let's start with a brief about why do we really meditate? So with every little practice of meditation will save you from the dire fears and colossal sufferings. And that's what has been said in the Bhagavad Gita. And in my own personal experiences, when I'm practicing daily meditation, it has led me to be having a peace, calm, focus, and concentration. So it, it brings in a lot of peace. It brings in a lot of calmness within you as you practice the meditation. And I want each one of you to now focus and listen to this. Based on my own learnings and whatever we are going to learn today, it is going to be based on the teachings of Yogananda Paramahansa. And that's been a lot of, a lot of been a practice that Yogananda Paramahansa has been doing in terms of meditation. And based on his learnings and teachings, one of the easiest way of meditation is bringing in a lot of focus and concentration. It is a practice where our thoughts and emotions are still and our heart is open. And it's a practice of listening to the God while prayer is talking to you, while the prayer is talking to the God. It is also about concentrating on God. And there are different aspects of God, which, which could be related to love, peace, joy, calmness. And during the meditation, we are going to focus on one of these aspects to bring into our life. So it is also something which just talks about remembering of who you really are, a divine, divine spirit. And one thing which I really want to also highlight to you is what is not a meditation. 
I know a lot of you look forward for that whenever meditation has been done, our thoughts are being stopped completely. Uh, we are completely having a blank mind or we are really getting into deep relaxation. Uh, meditation is not about just getting into deep relaxation or just blanking your mind or just uh, passing your time passively. It is also not about escaping from your responsibilities and troubles. So that's one of the important aspects of meditation that I wanted to really highlight and let you all know that what meditation is not all about. So in today's session, I would really want each one of you to be open in receiving and experiencing the today's session. So as you all have already described about the benefits and the experiences, what we are going to do is, we are going to work on our meditation aspect. And meditation will help us to come back to our center. You know what, in our daily lives, we always throw our energy outward where we are focusing on completing this project, this task, this work, so many things happening around us. But with this meditation techniques that you will learn today, we are going to work towards bringing our attention to our center and we're going to tap into our innate qualities of love, joy, peace, or whatever is within you about those positive aspects. And with a little practice of this meditation, you can tap into those qualities as you practice more. And one of the aspects that we're going to look into is that meditation is going to be a wonderful tool for healing to bring our focus in life to a center that is within us, a strength which is within us. And that is where we're going to focus today our session in centering ourselves internally, then outward with just a little practice of this meditation. It will help us to stay more alive and have a lot of, lot of benefits. So once again, I'm happy to welcome each one of you here to learn this practice. I've mentioned about there are three essentials for meditation. And the three key essentials, the first one talks about relaxing your mind, relaxing your body. So before we start any meditations, we make sure that we relax our body, we relax our mind. And you will be learning very simple techniques of relaxing your body and relaxing your mind. Then the second aspect is about concentration. You'll also learn one of the techniques today, which will help you to concentrate, improve your focus. And then the third aspect is about expansion. How do you expand that innate quality of yours, that peace, that love, that joy within you and also outside you? So these are the three key essential aspects that we're going to focus today with the help of the practice and the meditation that I'm going to take today with you all. So it's about relaxation, concentration and expansion. And the first thing that we start is we check our posture. So I want all of you to just check your posture, make sure you're sitting straight with your spine straight and your hands and palms, palms facing upwards. And we are going to place our hands at the junction of the thigh and the abdomen. So I want you to bring your hands at the junction of your thigh and the abdomen with your spine straight. Make sure that your chin is parallel to the ground and your feet is parallel to the ground. So if you are seated on a chair, make sure that you have your feet on the ground. And if you are seated in Padmasana or Sukhasana, then make sure that you are just having your legs folded as for your comfort. So once again, I'll repeat, make sure this is an important aspect. You have your shoulders slightly rolled back, spine erect, and your hands at the juncture of the thighs and the abdomen. This is the first important aspect for practicing of your meditation. Thanks, Prasanna. Yes, I can see you. Thanks, Veena, Milan, Bharti, Manisha. Thanks, I see somebody with iPhone. Uh, so thanks, I, I don't know your name, but yeah, thanks, Richa. So it's really nice to see all of you taking the right posture. Uh, one of the other aspect is that we also have to bring our gaze, which is upwards into the distance, like you're gazing at a mountain. So many times we have seen that when we ask people to focus at the third eye or the spiritual eye or the point between the eyebrows, they have their eyes crossed and it brings a lot of headache. 
So instead, what I would say is that you look at a far distant as if you're looking at the peak of a mountain, look at that and you'll see that your eyes are slightly gazed upwards and then you may close your eyes and your eyes stay upward. So that's the second aspect that you would need to take care of is gazing upwards into distance, like you're gazing at a distant mountain. You're not crossing your eyes, but you're gazing at a distance and from there you can close your eyes. So I want you to just go ahead and start doing this, visualizing that at a distance you're looking at a mountain and gazing your eyes at the peak of the mountain, not moving your neck upwards, but still your neck and your chin is parallel to the ground, just your eyes, gazing at the distance at the mountain. And then you would just close your eyes. And now let us start our meditation. Just again, check your posture, sit upright, your palms at the junction of the abdomen and your thighs. And we're going to start with a prayer and invocation. So I invoke the divine presence of the Supreme God and the divine energies to be present here in this moment. O oh, infinite spirit, O oh, infinite joy, O oh, great gurus of self-realization, I bow to you all. Bless our meditation with your presence. Help us feel your guidance. And in every pattern of our being, let us feel your joy. Be with us in this meditation and in all our thoughts and in all our actions and in our daily life. May we live in your consciousness, always and forever. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Continuing with your posture, eyes closed, slightly gazing upwards. We'll just start with a chant and we'll chant with a chant of Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Namaha. This is praying to the Lord for our good health. And we're just going to chant it for a few times. So, Let's start. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Namaha. 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 Oh, oh, oh. And now you may notice that there's a little tension in different parts of your body. And again, we are going to learn one simple technique for relaxing your body. And this simple technique is called as the double breath. So what we're going to do is we're going to double breath through the nose and exhalation through the nose and through the mouth. So just see, and you may open your eyes and just see at what I'm doing right now. So you understand about the double breath. So we are going to inhale through our nose, hold our breath and exhale through the nose and the mouth. So do this with me. This is a simple relaxation exercise and you will instantly see the benefits. So let's go ahead and start doing this. Inhalation, double breath. Hold your breath. Exhale through your mouth and nose. Let's do it two more times. Double breath, breathing. Inhale. Hold your breath. Exhale through your mouth. And now with this, we're also going to introduce slightly tensing and squeezing your body right from your feet, thighs, legs, and all through your body while we're doing this double breath. So observe me right now. Observe double inhalation. Tense your body, squeeze your body, whole body, vibrate a little. And then exhale through your mouth and nose. Relaxing your body. And let's do it three times. Follow with me. I'm just observing each one of you. And that's the reason I want you to switch on your videos so we can I can see how you're doing it. Let's start with double inhalation, tensing our body, vibrating, and then exhalation. Thanks. Let's start. Inhale, double breath. 
Squeeze your body, vibrate your body from thighs, the whole body is vibrating. And then exhale through your nostrils and through your mouth, double breath. Let's do it two to three more times. Inhale, double breath, Ex holding, tensing your body. And then exhale. Now I want you to do it at your own pace, two to three times. Let's do it. Inhale, tensing, holding your breath, exhale. One more time, tensing your body, exhale. So double breath, tense and vibrate the body and then exhale. It instantly relaxes your body, your mind. and. Now we are going to again go back, place our hands at the juncture of the thighs and abdomen, slightly gazing upwards at the mountain, closing your eyes. Now you feel your body is completely relaxed, your eyes closed and gazing at the distance. And now I would introduce you to the practice of event count breathing. So what it means is you're inhaling through the nose at the count of six, up to the count of six, holding your breath up to the count of six, and then exhaling to the count of six. So let's begin by taking a deep breath, expand the diaphragm, and then exhale through your mouth and nose. And now let's begin the count breathing. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, hold your breath, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, inhale again, two, three, four, five, six, hold your breath, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale again, observe your posture, spine straight, chin parallel, eyes gazed upwards. Start the inhalation, two, three, four, five, six. Hold your breath, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. One last round, inhale, two, three, four, five, six. Hold your breath, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Now allow the breath to flow freely through the nostrils. Feel the inhalations and the exhalations and become aware of your breath, flowing through the nose. Be extremely interested in your breath. Feel the warmthness, the current with the exhalation and feel the cool sensation of your breath entering into the nose with inhalation. Just allow the breath to flow at its own rhythm. We do not need to force it or control it. All you have to just do is observe and see how your breath is flowing in and out, in and out. Just focusing at your own normal rhythm, the inhalation and the exhalation. And now with this practice, we are going to add a mantra called as Hong So. And as you inhale mentally, we are going to chant Hong. And as you exhale, you're going to chant the So to the full capacity and the breath. So you may inhale, as you inhale mentally chant Hong, holding your breath. And as you exhale, mentally chant So. The Hong So mantra is a mantra affirming I am the spirit, I am the joy, I am peace, or any quality that you would like to attach yourself with, 
with the divine highest good intention. So as you focus on your breath, inhaling, hong, holding your breath, exhaling, so. Just follow your natural flow of breath. With every inhalation, you mentally chant hong, holding your breath and exhaling, so. If your breath is longer, your mantra also follows it in the long way. And if your breath is shorter, the mantra also is short. So if you have longer breaths, you would be like hong, holding your breath, shorter breaths, and exhaling for the longer so. So continue mentally chanting this mantra. And if your mind wanders, it's okay. Bring your mind back to this practice. Stay with your breath. Stay with the mantra. And if you find that your mind is wandering, what you can also do is you can use your right index finger up and down. So when you inhale, your right index finger will come closer to your thumb. And as you exhale, it will go outside. So when you inhale, you may chant Hong. And as you exhale, you may go with So. So check your posture, your spine straight, chin parallel, eyes closed, gazing upwards. And let's continue with this Hong So mantra, the mantra for staying focused and concentrated. So continue at your own pace with your own natural breath. As you inhale, Hong, and as you exhale, So. Hong, So. Hong, So. Stay with this practice now for a few minutes and mentally continue chanting, Hong, So. Just make sure that you're checking your posture. It's still straight, your eyes slightly gazing upwards, and you stay with this mantra, Hong, So. Now just be silent so you can focus and practice this mantra, Hong So. With every inhalation, Hong, exhalation, So. Feel this mantra vibrating through every cell of your body just for a few more moments. For a few more moments, continue the practice of this mantra mentally. Hong, so. Inhalation, hong. Exhalation, so. And now let's take a deep breath through the nose, followed by a deep exhalation. Checking your posture, eyes closed, slightly gazed upwards, sitting straight. Now let go of this practice of the mantra. You may keep your hand making sure it's touching at the juncture of the thighs and the abdomen. Let go of the practice of the mantra and now focus at the point between the eyebrows gazing upwards and all your awareness and your energy. Feel the effects of this mantra and now enjoy the silence for a few moments. As you're gazing up, enjoy this silence for a few moments. And now as you're gazing up, you may see a little bit of light. And if you don't see a light, you may imagine a picture of a light. And if you do concentrate on this light or the image and the picture of this light, you'll feel the sense of peace within yourself. You're at peace. Feel the peace within yourself. And as this light expands, you feel the peace expanding and it allows to become a part of your entire being. Allow this light and allow this peace to become a part of your entire being. So that light 
go into the peace, expanding the light, focusing your eyes between the eyebrows, gazing upward. And now for a few moments, concentrate, gazing upwards between this spiritual eye, between the two eyebrows, the point. Feel the silence, feel the peace within you for this couple of moments. And as you feel the silence, feel now the deep peace inside you and vibrating through your entire body and visualize bringing this peace into your life. Visualize mentally bringing peace into your life. Now in this last few minutes of our meditation, let us bring our focus on the center of our chest, which is the heart chakra, and feel the divine response, feel the peace, calmness, the divine presence at your heart, Anahata chakra, and receive all those blessings in this area of your heart chakra, the Anahata chakra. And now, as you feel this peace within your heart chakra, let us expand that feeling in the heart of the divine blessings and feel it reaching out to beyond your body to include your friends, your family members, your colleagues, your neighbors, everyone around you, your city, your country. The whole world has been part of this light. We're expanding the peace. And let this blessings reach to every soul on this planet. Include everybody in this peace that you're feeling within yourself. It's also expanding to every soul on this planet. Be with this peace for some moment. And now we're going to gently rub our palms and raise our hands so that we can pass on this blessings to everyone. We are going to do this with the sound of Om, spreading the peace to everyone every being on this planet. Oh. Oh. you're spreading this peace to everyone let's conclude this with a prayer O oh, infinite spirit O oh, divine mother divine energies great masters and beloved gurus we thank you for your presence in our life to guide us to heal us to protect us may we live with this joy and peace may we share this love joy and peace with everyone around us. May we become one with this joy, peace within and outside. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And you may now gently open your eyes. So this was a short practice of this technique uh, of relaxing your body using the double breath then concentrating using the technique of Hongso and then expanding this 
joy and peace with the light that you had seen at your spiritual eye and also using the energies at the center of your chest. So these are the three key essentials that you need to follow during your meditation. So the Hongso, as I said, is the highest technique of concentration. It will help us to bring the calmness and peace within us. So if you practice this every day, morning and evening, it will help you and bring in a lot of positive benefits in every area of your life, your health, wealth, relationships, your career, your job, your business. And you should also kind of after you practice this, you may sit in silence for a few moments so you can feel the pleasure, feel the peace, feel the joy. So this is a medium to calm us, concentrate us and bring us into the meditation silence. And as you have observed that the relaxation and the concentration techniques are a medium to help us get into deeper parts of our meditation, where we can sit in silence, where we can expand the peace and joy. Other thing which I want to also highlight is that when we sit into meditation, we need to get into the relaxation, bring that peace, bring that joy within us, and then we move towards the expansion phase which is the meditation phase many of us try to look at meditation to bring in peace and joy after we practice it but remember one of the things that i have learned from the teachings of paramahansa yogananda is that when you sit into the meditation you get what you take with you so if you take peace and joy when you sit into the meditation you're going to see peace and joy expanding and you can pick up any of those positive aspects of your life to bring in this meditation to help you expand into this, uh, this uh, expressions and things of peace and joy. So I'm really happy. And now I would really like kind to listen and understand from each one of you, how was your experience? So I'm just kind of, uh, you can unmute yourself and share your experience or put it into the chat window. It would be really nice. I see Richard, you have unmuted yourself. So go ahead, share your experience. How was it? Hi, Poonam. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, finally, I went into the Zen mode while doing the meditation after a long time. And it was peaceful and joyful, both at the same time. Uh, and uh, kind of uh, sad feeling is there because 21 days chakra healing is finished. And today also we are finishing this meditation. And I don't know when are you starting the next... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I just want to be stay connected to you forever and forever. Thanks, Richa. Yes, definitely we're going to stay connected. And I'm happy to know that this uh, today's session has helped you a lot. Yeah, thank you so much. And God bless you, really. Thanks a lot, Richa. I see a few in the chat window. Okay, one of the things uh, if people are saying, Yogita says, felt relaxed as if I'm in Himalayas. Very nice and peaceful. Thanks. Uh, Surbi says, uh, feeling very calm. Nikhil says, relaxing. Anybody would like to kind of unmute and uh, share? How are you feeling? I, it would be good to hear. I see Vikrant, you're trying to unmute yourself. So go ahead, Vikrant. Yeah. Uh, firstly, uh, uh, thank you, Poonam. Uh, it has been uh, a gracious and a blessed one. Uh, hi, all. This is Vikrant and Freya. Uh, we've been there with Poonam uh, for, a few, uh, for a few years now through Reiki sessions and through meditative sessions and uh, trying to manifest our materialistic goals. So I think Poonam, uh, this is the first time that I've been ca not camera shy and expressing these in words. Very difficult uh, to express this grace, uh, very difficult to describe uh, the blessings coming from you um, as as all you know we need to learn we need a guru so I'm, I'm be blessed to have you in our life to uh, to have this guru which 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 helps us manifest these materialistic goals uh, looking about uh, talking about this session uh, I think it was again uh, Gracious, it was like a river flowing. I've been following uh, these 21 day uh, Reiki healing sessions also along with Priya. Uh, but I've been camera shy today, I could not stop myself from expressing these in words. Um, I think um, a mixture of Reiki, um, uh, 
healing the energies and a mixture of something within uh, was connecting today the mind body soul mm -hmm. were all in line uh, i'm a i'm a pra uh, practitioner of uh, meditative sessions but since this topic is boundless and limitless in each session i think i learned a lot so uh, thank you so much for this one uh, narankar bless you bless us all with uh, fitness with uh, a lot of wealth a lot of uh, you know giving back to the society in terms of seva uh, and uh, yeah that's that's it thanks a lot yeah. ran for sharing this uh, it's really good to know that and i see a few more here for today's session manisha says thanks dear and feeling relaxed and calm again went to sleep okay <laughs> and milan says relaxing and calm veena says a very happy prosperous healthy wealthy happy new year same to you it helped a lot by making me feel very cool and calm thank you god bless you thanks a lot makran says very relaxed and calm good start for a new day new beginning akshata says it was very relaxing and stress free feeling siyog says it was really a nice experience and kasturi says thank you so much puna for the session first day of the new year started with a very positive and happiness Oh uh, yes, Rich. I'll I'll upload the recordings too. So thanks. How did you guys feel about this technique of double breath and the Hong Sao? Hi, Poonam. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. Nirankar, bless all of us here around thanks. and in the world. Yes, Poonam. It's a such a superb start of the new year in a positive yeah. way. And if I can. tell about myself i'm not a girl who you know can sit <laughs> calm and do meditation but yeah since i'm with you like uh, vikrant said uh, he's from few years i always pushed him no you go and take the reiki session no you go but last year you helped me a lot and that is slowly slowly helping me <clears throat> to you know uh, concentrate myself but today you give me that technique because my mind is like that sometimes it is going and you give that technique you know with home and so right so yeah that helped me a lot uh, to concentrate and when you uh, told us to you know uh, see some light so yes. i again saw my sadguru again because he and she is everything for me like light my breath everything and i could see them and uh, i don't know maybe uh, you know that uh, you said ex it's expanding imagine that and before that it started expanding and you know with the mm -hmm. some you know uh, this uh, what we call i'm not ex expressing myself but you know uh, with the wings okay and they i can see some wings uh, in white color mm -hmm. and they are expanding and giving blessings to us so this what happened today and there is one question i'll ask you it's about you know that reiki session that i yeah. miss will do I that yeah, yeah. we'll connect on so that later was, thanks yeah 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 definitely but it was amazing so i could concentrate with that technique of home and so okay. thank you so thanks vikrant and thanks okay i see veena saying yes uh, love the technique veena how thank yes it is pronounced as hong so that's absolutely right veena mm -hmm. it's absolutely right so thanks a lot for that Padma Priya says it's been refreshing. I felt relaxed and pain-free now as I saw that light, purple light, glowing and expanding, so soothing and protective. Thanks a lot, Padma Priya, for sharing it. Uh, Aruna Ma'am says that uh, listening to your melodious voice itself brings a soothing touch. Thanks a lot, Aruna Ma'am, and your smile gives positivity. The sessions were very wonderful. Thanks a lot. Uh, yes, I hear somebody. Talk. Go ahead, Surbi. Yeah, actually, uh, the whole month of December, you know, I was not able to do any kind of practices due to few things happening on the family front, and I was uh, even I couldn't uh, listen to your uh, chakra cleansing meditations. I listened to few, but I had to stop them uh, in between due to some other things coming up. But mm -hmm. and you know, kind of, I was really feeling very. uh bad and i was uh, kind of uh, in a bit of low confidence that uh, would i be able to start that again but uh, you know after uh, this half an hour i really feel aligned again and uh, i have got that confidence back that i can start my practices again great thanks urbi good to know that this today session has helped you to get back uh, to things thank you welcome Rishal uh, says, "Thank you so much for coming session. God bless you. So much of white light, so positive kick start of the new year. Thank you. I see somebody just unmuted yourself, so go ahead. Uh, 
Padma Priya, yes, go ahead. Yeah. Padamji, thank you so much uh, for this, uh, you know, uh, good start of the year. Actually, I miss going to temple, but now I don't regret it. So for this session that I thought I'll, I don't shift my temple visit in the evening. Thank you oh, so much for all that care and that uh, love that you give all of us so selfless and you've been caring for us so much i wanted to thank you for those bracelets that you have sent tremendous amazing i'm seeing the effect and awesome. you know my daughter is also doing so well in her exam so i ensure that she takes that bracelet with her and even uh, with respect to you know the financial abundance and i'm able to see the difference in uh, the way um you know things are happening at my work front also so i keep them on my study table during my work and um yeah. Tremendous effect. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything that you're doing for all of us. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Padma Priya. Good to know that uh, things are helping you, the healings, the crystals, and the sessions. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. Smita says, awesome start of the new year, feeling fresh, relaxed. Awesome. Good to know that. So anybody else would like to share anything? Okay, great. So if not, then I wish you all a good rest of the day. Take care and uh, join the communities, the WhatsApp or the Facebook so that you can be updated with the new sessions and the new things coming your way. So thanks a lot. Oh, I shall see you unmuted yourself. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, Poonam, Happy New Year, first of all. And Happy thank New you Year. so much. I know it's just a few months that I've started connecting with you, but it's really, I mean, for me, 2022 is really awesome year. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that the upcoming years are going to be uh, the same. Yes. Definitely, yeah. it would be, Vaishali. Thanks a lot for that. Thank you so much. Great. Okay, good. Then uh, if nothing else, then you guys take care. Have a good rest of the day and wishing you all a happy and a prosperous new year. Thank you for joining in. Thank you, Poonam. Thanks all. Happy New Year, ma'am. Thank you, Poonam, ma'am.